Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 141. That is, what is ad hoc testing? Let me answer. Testing performed randomly on the application without using any formal or structured process is known as ad hoc testing. In ad hoc testing, the testing will be done in a random way on the application. And also there is no formal process or structured process followed while performing this ad hoc testing. In ad hoc testing, there is no need for any requirement documents. There is no need for test planning documents. There is no need for using any test cases for testing because there is no formal or structured process followed here. Okay, that's why there is no planning and we don't have to use test cases. If you are using test cases means you are following a structured process, right? Your testing is driven by the test cases, but here it is a random testing performed without using any formal or structured process means there is no test cases required. There is no need to do any test planning. Okay, or create any test plan or something to perform testing. And also in this ad hoc testing, which is done randomly, we don't test by looking at the requirements. Okay, we don't have to verify the application functionality to see whether that application functionality is matching the requirements or not. It's not required. So all these things are not required as part of ad hoc testing. Here in ad hoc testing, it is performed randomly and there is no formal or structured process followed. Okay, that's what you can say. Let me give an example case, okay, for ad hoc testing. So let's say in normal testing, when you are using any test cases or if you are following some requirements, okay, let's say the client has given you a requirement where uh, whether you are able to place an order or not is a requirement, okay? Let me go to an example website. So here, the client has given a requirement for this application where to check where whether the user, end user is able to place an order or not, okay? So if I, if I'm doing a, a process oriented or structured oriented testing by looking at the requirements and fi by following the test cases, I'll be doing like this. Okay. I'll be searching for a product. I'll be going to the product display page. I'll be adding the product to the cart. I'll go to the shopping cart. Then uh, I'll check the details. I'll just check out. And uh, I will log into this. I'll log into one of the accounts. And then uh, after that, I'll click on continue. Continue. I'll place the order. I'll check this process of, uh, you see, a proper positive scenario I'm checking where whether the user is able to place an order or not, I'm checking. So this is happy pass scenario, right? Simply, I'm able to place the order according to the requirement. If I'm using the, if I'm writing the test cases and following a structured process by looking at the requir uh, test cases which are following the requirements and performing testing, I'm getting the results like order is placing and the test case will pass. This is not ad hoc testing, but what is ad hoc testing? So let me give an example for the ad hoc testing now. Okay, let me give an example for ad hoc testing. So I will not only show you an example, guys. I will I'll show you a defect also. Okay, as a bonus, I am going to show you a defect uh, that I can find by doing an ad hoc testing on this application. Okay, so the same scenario where the according to the requirement, how to place an order, right? Whether the user is able to place an order or not, we have to check, right? So if I have to perform ad hoc testing on this scenario, how do I perform? I'll simply search for HP here. Go to the this page, okay, go to this uh, product display page, add to cart, shopping cart. You see one item is there. You can see that there's one item here. What if I press the back button here, browser back button here, what happening? The item is going off. This is a defect, right? Again, if I refresh the page, it's there. Okay, so if I go to the shopping cart, if I go to the shopping cart and click on the browser back button, okay? So what was happening at the time? Zero items was coming. Let me add one more item. Now, after adding the item, go to the shopping cart. Now click on the back button. You see, instead of two items, one item is there. There is one bug here, right? Immediately after you add an item to the cart and go to the shopping cart and click on the browser back button, you are getting this. You are not getting two items, you are getting one item, okay? So this kind of thing, this is only possible if you do ad hoc testing, guys. This kind of scenarios cannot be, uh, you cannot identify this kind of defects or perform this kind of scenarios or test, uh, testing, uh, testing cases when you create the test cases or follow blindly the requirements and all, okay? We have to do some ad hoc testing which will co co uh, cover the uh, other paths that happy paths are positive, general paths that formal testing will do, right? Apart from that, if you want to do some more testing, then we have to go for the ad hoc testing, which is a random testing is. So we'll just on the path, we decided what will happen. You got an idea like uh, after you go to the, you go to the shopping cart after adding an item to the cart, you just got an idea what will happen if I click on the browser back button. Here we are making the testing randomized and uh, by doing something that we generally don't do, 
and we are identifying the defects also okay this is what is adaptive testing guys so hope guys you got an idea what is how adaptive testing is performed okay and how it is different from the general testing that we perform so there are types of adaptive testing guys okay so under adaptive testing there are different types like uh, body testing is there repair testing is there monkey testing is there these are the three types of adaptive testing all these are random testing only body testing is random testing Ray testing is a random testing. Monkey testing is also a random testing. Okay, I'll be answering this uh, body testing, play testing, monkey testing, maybe in the other interview questions followed followed by this series. Okay, so maybe in the next uh, few questions of this uh, same interview question series, I may be answering about body pair and uh, monkey. Okay, you just follow there. For now, the different type of uh, ad hoc testing we have are body testing, play testing, and monkey testing. Okay, and also when do we perform ad hoc testing? When do the software testers perform the ad hoc testing? What is the right time? Okay, so generally ad hoc testing need to be performed on stable builds. Don't perform the ad hoc testing on the unstable builds. Okay, so once the application build becomes stable, when formal testing is completed on that uh, application. Okay, generally uh, as software testers we perform testing and over a period of cycles, the application that we are testing will go through a lot of versions and become stable over a period of time. Once an application reaches a kind of state where it it looks like very stable, right? Then that is the right time to perform ad hoc testing because that time right uh, by doing ad hoc testing we'll try to find out different paths where the defects which are not identified during the normal formal testing can be identified by performing some ad hoc testing uh, which involves random testing categories like just now i showed you an example right such kind of defects may make encounter which cannot be found by the formal testing okay so here when there is less time other other situation when you have to perform ad hoc testing is when there is less time for detailed testing okay so if you blindly follow the test cases and uh, you uh, you follow some checklist and perform testing in a formal way and uh, there is very less time given so the testing will not be done right so you have very less time so in that case in that kind of critical situation where you have to complete your testing but uh, you cannot complete using some formal testing process like using test cases and all you cannot complete in that case uh, one idea is to use ad hoc testing so which uh, where we have to perform the testing randomly and focus on the important functionalities and randomly test them here and there to see whether they are stable or not whether we are there any defects or not we will find it okay without any plan or process we will perform ad hoc testing when we have less time that's another situation and another thing is when you are free okay let's say you completed all the testing and uh, you don't know what to do now okay you completed all testing all the test cases uh, and uh, you you are getting a lot of time now okay so you are completely free at that time after formal testing is completed if you are still free then you can adopt the ad hoc testing okay ad hoc, uh, ad hoc testing should be performed on the stable builds and uh, after the formal testing is completed if you have some more time then you can perform ad hoc testing or there may be some situations where uh, very less time is to uh, less uh, less time is given for the testers to finish up the testing okay and uh, you cannot follow a formal process uh, that much time is not there for following the pro formal process in that situation uh, if you want to utilize that time less time then we can also adapt for the adapt testing we can do some random testing and identify something okay in that less time so this is what is adapt testing guys in simple words adapt testing is performed randomly guys okay if someone asks you what is adapt testing then interviews or wherever if someone asks you what is adapt testing you have to simply answer that testing performed randomly on the applications is known as adapt testing and in adapt testing there will not be any formal process or structured process okay followed and in adapt testing all these things are not required we generally don't look at the requirements while performing the testing in ad hoc testing we don't do any test planning while performing the ad hoc testing we don't follow any test cases while performing the ad hoc testing because it is a completely random without any formal process or structured process okay so this is what is the answer for this question guys that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye